A developing story today involving a popular laser and injection studio in Jupiter. A third Aqua Laser Studio employee has been arrested, accused of practicing medicine without a license. WPTV News Channel 5's Daniel Seat has been outside that studio for most of the day as the doors remain shut. I got a text message um, at 9.29 and it just said, Good morning, this is Aqua Laser Studio contacting you to my appointment today and they, they just needed to reschedule. Monica Block, a patient at Aqua Laser Studio, was supposed to come in for an appointment today. She just pretty much told me that she was in jail, but she posted bond and they're rescheduling every appointment. That appointment rescheduled for next week. They just pretty much told me that they are completely closed today and tomorrow, but they will be reopening on Monday. Time and time again, patients have stopped by Aqua Laser Studio's offices today, but the doors remain locked. Very surprised to hear this, that this happened. Co-owners Jonathan Feinberg and Donna Schumann and employee Jonathan Lopez Ramos were arrested, accused of practicing medicine without an active license and performing illegal procedures. That's all according to the Jupiter Police Department. The arrest comes after the Florida Department of Health and the Jupiter Police Department conducted an undercover investigation, which they say they revealed Lopez Aramis was conducting a variety of cosmetic injections like Botox without a medical license. Now, we tried to get in touch with Schumann, the owner of the studio. Instead, she sent us this statement saying we are aware of the allegations against Aqua Laser Studio and take them very seriously. We are conducting our own internal investigation and are also consulting with industry experts. The acting medical director of the studio, that's Dr. Charles Flock, told me in a separate statement, I have supervised licensed medical electrologists there for two years. I have never supervised any unlicensed practitioners at Aqua Laser Studio. We have contacted the Florida Department of Health to ask when the last time this facility was investigated and if they will be able to reopen, but we have not heard back. I also asked Schumann if clients will be able to get a refund for prepaid services, but she has not yet responded. Reporting in Jupiter, I'm Danielle Seat, WPTV News Channel 5.